Hello everyone and welcome to the American Practical English Brand. I'm Teacher Rohimi and today I'm going to be explaining direct and indirect speech. I can promise you that you're going to be able to find anything that you need regarding direct and indirect speech in this video. So stay with me till the end of this video. Let's begin with Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, what is direct speech? To bring someone's speech in their own exact words without any changes is called direct speech. Like somebody told you something yesterday or last week or just a while ago and now you're trying to report the speech to somebody else you use direct speech but you do not bring any changes in the sentence of that person you bring their exact words without any changes look at this example he said i drink coffee every morning this is you know direct speech i drink coffee every morning i mean this sentence this sentence belongs to somebody else and i'm i'm trying to to, to report it to someone so there are two names there are two terms you can say direct and indirect speech you can say coded and reported speech now let's see what's going on on the next slide uh I mean, that was all about direct speech. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's not difficult to learn what a direct speech is. Uh, because altogether, there are two parts, okay? <coughs> if you pay close attention to this slide, everything will be clear. Uh, the direct speech is divided into two parts. Reporting speech and reported speech. So the phrase that you use, like he said, she said, they said, okay, Tom said, Jamal Kamal said, okay, uh, that is called reporting speech. And when you bring somebody else's speech uh, without any changes, that is called reported speech. So there are some rules to be followed. Rule number one, don't forget this. There should be a comma between the reporting and the reported speech. A comma should be used between them. Uh, rule number two, the reported speech should be brought inside inverted commas or quotation marks. So here, I mean, I drink coffee every morning. This sentence has been brought inside quotation marks. And point number three is that you need to capitalize the first word of the direct speech. Don't forget the first word must be always capitalized uh, sometimes it's possible to change the positions of reporting speech in reported speech as you see in the second example you can say i drink coffee every morning and then comma he said that's also possible but one more thing i want to tell you about the punctuation marks <coughs> it's better to use punctuation marks both inside quotation marks and outside quotation marks because the first stop over here, the period over here that you see in the quotation marks is used for somebody else's sentence. I drink coffee every morning. This is not my sentence. This sentence belongs to somebody else, but I'm just reporting it, okay, without any changes, okay? But the, the I mean, the, the punctuation mark, the, the period that you see outside the quotation marks belongs to my sentence. Because from the beginning, it's my sentence. He said, I drink coffee every morning, okay? So, we need two punctuation marks here, both inside the quotation marks and outside the quotation marks. Uh, what is indirect speech? What is indirect speech? To bring someone's speech in your words, your own words, with some changes is called indirect speech. Look at the example. He told me that he drank coffee every morning. So there you saw, I mean, the comma and then the quotation marks and then the exact words of that person. But here you see some changes. He told me that he drank coffee. But here is going to be further explained over here on the next slide. I mean, it's going to be explained further. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just explain it further. You know how to do that. Uh, 
uh, how to change direct speech into indirect speech. Uh, first of all, you need to change this comma in direct speech to the conjunction that if your sentence is affirmative, if it's a positive sentence. If it's a negative sentence, then instead of this conjunction that, you use if or whether, okay? <coughs> if it's a WH question, then you do not use any conjunction. Keep in mind that uh, the series is going to continue and I'll be, you know, recording more videos about all 12 tenses, you know, how to change direct speech into indirect speech and all 12 tenses in both active and passive voice, okay? So, now this is the first change. And I mean, I, I mean, the, 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 the pronoun is changed to he, first person to third person, singular, singular, okay? Drink, I mean, the verb is in uh, base form because it is simple present tense, but here, drank, I mean, the verb is in, in second form, so you, I mean, you just change simple present tense to simple past tense. We're going to talk more about that later. So he said, I drink coffee every morning, direct speech. He said that he drank coffee every morning, or he told me that. You can use this phrase, he said that, or you can say he told me that, or he said to me that, that's also possible. So he told me that, or he said that he drank coffee every morning. There are some changes to be brought when we change direct speech into indirect speech. First, you know how we change pronouns in indirect speech. Uh, look. Personal pronouns are divided into three categories. First person, second person, and third person. For, uh, first person, I, we. Second person, you, you. And third person, he, she, it, and they. <coughs> but I brought all of the forms, you know, subjective form, objective form, you know, possessive adjective form, possessive pronoun form, and reflexive pronoun form. Uh, if you pay attention over here, I, we, second person, should be changed to third person, she, he, or they, in, in subjective case, okay? First person is changed to third person. In objective case, me, I, should be changed to his, her, or them, okay? In uh, possessive adjectives or possessive pronouns, my and mine should be changed to his, her, or his, hers, or our, ours should be changed to their and theirs, okay? And reflexive pronoun form should be changed to mm, myself, ourself. So, so myself should be changed to himself, herself, according to who this, the, the, the speaker could be. In, in, I mean, uh, when you're trying to change somebody's speech, so if the, the speaker is, you know, male, you change, you know, myself to himself, okay? If the person, I mean, the speaker is a female, then you change myself to herself. I hope this concept is also clear. So ourselves should be changed to themselves. Uh, and here, uh, uh, okay, this is kind of always a kind of bug, okay. Okay, uh, now second person is changed to first person again. Don't forget this. I mean, if you really want to know how to use indirect speech correctly in an academic way, you need to learn these points. You need to follow these rules okay so we said that the first person is changed to third person but now the second person pronouns are changed to first person again back to first person so like you you i mean you for singular you for plural so you you i we okay in subject is an objective is you you me us and your my or our yours mine or ours and yourself yourselves myself ourselves uh, third person remains third person, no change, okay? If you have third person personal pronouns and, you know, in your direct speech and you want to change it to indirect speech, then they remain, I mean, uh, the, in the same form, no change, okay? So look, here, third person, third person, she, he, it, she, he, it, they, they, in subjective form. In her, him, it, her, him, it, no change. Them, in objective case, them, okay. Uh, in her, his, or it's there, okay. Uh, possessive adjectives, her, his, is there, okay. Uh, hers, his, it's, theirs, uh, you know, 
uh, possessive pronouns, I mean, uh, her, his, his, theirs, no, I mean, no change. And reflexive pronouns, himself, herself, himself, itself, themselves, herself, himself, itself, themselves, no change at all, okay. Uh, there are some other changes to be brought, uh, demonstrative adjectives. Whenever you have this in direct speech, and then you, want to then you want to change it to indirect speech, so this should be changed to that, these to those. Uh, adverb of adverbs of time and place here should be changed to there sorry I've forgotten EOV here it's not her is here okay here to there today that day tonight that night yesterday the day the day before the day before the previous day it's also possible tomorrow should be changed the following day now to then this morning that morning uh, this afternoon that afternoon this evening that evening, this week, that week, <coughs> this month, that month, this year, that year. Sometimes the verb go can be changed to come and come could be changed to go. That's also possible. <coughs> well, it depends on the situation. It depends on, you know, how uh, the situation is. For example, you are in India or in Pakistan and somebody is telling you, I will go to Afghanistan next month and then you come back to Afghanistan. Here in Afghanistan, somebody is asking you that what did he say to you? What did he tell you in India? Okay, when you were there. Okay, uh, and then you tell this person that he told me that he would come to Afghanistan. Look, he said that person in India or in Pakistan said that I will go to Afghanistan. But you change it, you know, to come. He would come to Afghanistan. Why? Because you are in Afghanistan now. So you cannot say here you cannot say he told me that he would go to Afghanistan because you're here so I hope this concept is clear sometimes you can change come to go and go to come uh, tense change keep in mind that when we change direct speech into indirect speech uh, we go one tense back we go one tense back so here how it is simple present to simple past present progressive to past progressive present perfect to past perfect present Perfect progressive to past perfect progressive. Simple past is also changed to past perfect. Look, two tenses are changed to past perfect. Present perfect to past perfect and simple past to past perfect. Uh, and past progressive should be also changed to past perfect progressive, okay? So again, two tenses. Present perfect progressive is changed to past perfect progressive or continuous. And past progressive or continuous is also changed to past perfect progressive or continuous. Past perfect remains past perfect because we do not have any other tense behind it, okay? So that's the last tense. I said we, we go one tense back. So past perfect remains past perfect and past perfect progressive remains past perfect progressive. In all future tenses, the auxiliary will, the auxiliary will is changed to would, okay? And if you have be going to, is am are going to, should be changed to was, were, going to. Uh, here, we have some important points. That, that you need to remember okay if the reporting speech is in present tense do not change uh, the tense in reported speech like the reporting speech okay the person who's who's telling you something okay and now I mean you're trying to to change it okay in that case when it comes to written English so now the person who is reporting somebody's speech if that person is using a present tense in that case we don't have to change I mean the tense in reported speech. Here's the example. You can look at the example here. He says, or he's saying, could be present continuous tense. He says, I go to school every day, or he's saying, I go to school every day. Now, this, I mean, you want to change this sentence from direct to indirect speech. He says that he goes to school every day. Look, the tense is not changed. I go to school every day, simple present tense. He goes to school every day simple present tense however other changes are brought like you know subject i is changed to he and i mean comma is changed to that the conjunction that second form if the speaker talks about a universal fact do not change the tense in reported speech don't forget this now we have general facts and we have universal facts uh, general facts are, are changeable for example you say he's a teacher he's happy i mean these are the facts which are changeable okay so he may not be a teacher in the future, for example. But universal facts like the sky is high or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind, they're not changeable, okay? Uh, so now the point is, if the speaker talks about universal fact, do not change the tense in the reported speech, okay? Then you don't have to go one tense back. 
okay? If the speaker is talking about a universal fact, look at the example over here, example. He said the sky is high. So it is a universal fact which is not changeable and therefore, uh, you know, the tense here should not be changed. He told me that the sky is high. You don't say he told me that the sky was high. He told me that the sky is high. Okay. Okay. Again, about, again, about. Next, 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 next. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, share. And sub subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to it yet. And stay with the practical English brand and inshallah you will improve your English a lot. Have a great time and bye bye for now. See you again when I record the next video inshallah.